Hello, welcome to Passive Income Through Rentals. My name is Jana Cristo, and today's video is the first one of the Managing for Profit series. Please like or subscribe if you want to see more. If you're wondering why should I listen to this lady, is because I have managed hundreds of properties of my own and for clients for the last 15 years. Let's start with the biggest mistake I see new landlords make. And that is not paying enough attention to preparing the property the right way from the beginning. This leads to many issues. If your rental property it, it is not comparable to others in the market, you attract tenants that have no other choice and that leads to behavior problems um, and evictions. The next thing that could happen is you start getting the first month after the tenant moves in, you start getting a lot of maintenance requests and each one costs more money. This all, all of this could have been done before the tenant moves in and avoid it. And the last problem that's a biggie is deferred maintenance. Deferred maintenance every time you, you have a turnover leads to costlier repairs, worse tenants and it just snowballs from there. And I see a lot of landlords just give up at this point and say, well, this is not for me. Um, all of this, all of this could be avoided. You can have a profitable rental if you do things the right way from the beginning. I have 20 suggestions for you. You can call them tip suggestions that I've learned during the last 15 years as a property manager and I want to share them with you. I wish somebody had given me this list when I started because it would have saved me tons of money and frustration. So here are the 20 suggestions. Tip number one, if the property doesn't have a shot of valve, get one installed. If you have a major leak inside the home, the tenant can turn the water off quickly. Two, recalk bathtub and sinks. This doesn't cost much and will save you thousands in water damage. Clean the dryer vents and leave instructions for the tenants on how to use and clean the dryer. Each year, 35 million in property loss and 100 deaths are reported from fires caused by clothes dryers. Change the AC filter and pour vinegar into the drain line to clean it. If you have a home warranty, make sure you get a professional HVAC company to tune up your system or the warranty will become void. Install freeze protector on your AC. It saves the evaporator coils from freezing. In areas where there's a lot of lightning, advise your tenants to get a surge protector if the electric company offers them. It protects not only your AC, but also the tenant's electronics. Replace broken blinds. Check all faucets for drips and leaks. Spray for pests outside and inside. Replace floors if they need it. Choose tile in the south and durable wood floors like engineered wood in the north. One of the most common repairs requested is the refrigerator's ice maker. If you buy new appliances, choose a fridge without one. There are many fridges that look great but don't have an ice maker. This of course doesn't apply to high-end rentals. If you just bought the property and it has a different color in each room, or even if it's just an outdated color, just paint it. A good neutral paint is Agreeable Gray by Sherwin-Williams. Painting the whole house will serve two purposes. One, you will know exactly the color used, so when you have 
tenant turnover, you can just do simple touch-ups. And two, it will increase the appeal of the property greatly. Paint the front door and change the hardware if it's outdated. This is your chance to install smart door locks to help with self-showing the property, letting maintenance in, and eliminating lockout calls. Buy a welcome mat. It's an extra that says home, not rental. Clean the whole house. This includes the windows. Pressure wash the house, driveway, and fence if needed. If you're doing it yourself, get the surface cleaner attachment for your pressure washer. It makes the job much easier. Mow the lawn, trim bushes, weed, and remulch. If your property is in an area that has high crime, add a strike plate to your door, install motion activated lights or security camera. For single family homes, one improvement that pays off is fenced backyard. It improves the security and attractiveness of the property. And finally, check your smoke alarm with the smoke alarm tester. We also make videos of these te tests and keep them on file. One last thing, prepare a tenant maintenance kit. In fact, uh, it should be called property maintenance kit and give it to the tenant. This is what it should go into it. Garbage disposal key. So they don't have to call you every time they have something stuck, stuck in the disposal. Unclogging tiles. 12 AC filters, one for each month. Cleaning vinegar for AC drains and for cleaning faucets. Toilet plunger, sink plunger. And if you have very high ceilings, you can include a long pole to replace light bulbs. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Um, this video, as I mentioned, or I'm not sure if I mentioned, is the first one of the Managing for Profit series. So if you want to see the others, please like and subscribe. Um, it helps me stay motivated to make more videos for you.